What's good out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be doing the solo money glitch just released by NHJYYS, the same guy who released the CEO dupe glitch. It's very easy to do and I'm going to explain it right after this. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my latest videos. If you're also interested in GTA 5 online modded accounts, go ahead and go to my latest upload and click on this link in the description. This will lead you to the website Digizani. This is the most trusted site to purchase cash and rank services on all platforms for GTA 5 online at reasonable prices. Don't forget once you're done shopping, add the discount code EEZY to save some money at the end of your checkout. All right, so getting back into this video, once again, huge shout out to NHJ for finding another solo money glitch for everyone to do. Now, we're gonna go over what you need for this glitch. So obviously you need a car to dupe. The Benny's vehicles are the ones to go. The LG Retro Custom is the one to dupe, like you can see right here in the video. Have it more, you know, fully customized to sell close to a million dollars. This one's a little bit sleeker looking, so I didn't wanna put all the ugly upgrades on it. But uh, yeah, so you're gonna need a car like this, then you also need a facility and a bunker, all right? And in your bunker, you need your MOC. You need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage, and it does not matter what is in there, okay? You won't lose it. So it doesn't matter what's actually stored in the MOC. It could be empty or have a car in it. Now, in your facility, what you need are a few different things. You need some RH8s or Fagios to ride over, basically. It works with both. I actually do end up using both in this video. So apart from that, you're pretty good. Now, I do recommend having a CEO buzzard and it will make, you know, the transport a lot quicker because you will be going between facility and bunker. Now, I have Ron's windmill farm uh, facility and I have a farmhouse bunker. And as many of you know, those are literally just across the highway from each other. So now we're going to get started with the glitch. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the car I want to dupe. You see, I have a roll easy plate on it. You don't need a custom. Oh, yeah. And you don't need custom plates. OK, this is a no custom plates dupe glitch. Also, forgot to add that. Anyways, you're going to go ahead and drive into your bunker PlayStation. You will be doing a recent activity right away and sitting on this alert for 45 seconds. OK, make sure you get a, a recent activity that says start GT online Xbox. What you need to do is quickly join somebody in a different targeting mode. So I recommend Xbox guys being in free aim. And when you go ahead and when you're about to go into the bunker, I recommend just spamming on join game on one of your friends in a different targeting mode. Accept the first alert and you sit on the second alert, just like PS4 is sitting on this alert. Now, so you want to sit on that targeting mode alert or this recent activity alert for 45 seconds. And I say just count exactly 45 seconds. It worked perfectly for me. At 45 seconds, what you want to go ahead and do is decline the alert, whichever one you may be using. You're going to get that flash right there. Now, once you've gotten that, get that alert again and decline it and you will be frozen. So PS4, do another recent Xbox, join a friend in a different targeting mode again, accept the first alert, decline the second. We all will be frozen right here. Eventually, the screen will glitch out a little bit. There you go. Now we can go ahead and press pause, go to the online tab and go to Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. Just open it up and then close it back up. All right. So that's it. What you want to go ahead and do now is just get out of that car. Okay, that car is actually glitched, believe it or not. Okay, it's glitched because of that. So you just want to go ahead and exit. Remember, I have my MOC inside the bunker. You'll see how convenient it really is. All right. So at this point, we're exiting out of the bunker. And this is why I said to go ahead and have a CEO chopper available. All right. The buzzards are the way to go. It's still one of the best ways to go around. Uh, the oppressor, I would definitely say, is a close. Well, I'd say the oppressor is probably better, but it's up to you. I don't like to call out any other special vehicles or any other personal vehicles during this process because it could actually screw it up. If you call out another personal vehicle, it's going to get rid of the retro that you have in the bunker. So you want to keep that there. So call out a CEO buzzard that won't take place of your personal vehicle. All right. And remember, I said my facility is very close. I have the windmill one and that is right here. So I can just take my buzzard and it's like a 30 second flight, not even to get over to my facility. OK. So once I go ahead and land here, I'm going to enter. And like I said, fill up your facility with either RHAs or Fagios. They both work, but you just want to fill it up to the brink. OK, and you're going to see this is a really, really neat glitch. Definitely like one of the cool ones that I've seen or one of the cooler ones I've seen recently. Uh, very, very clever what we actually do in this glitch. So recently we've had we've we've noticed that if you open up your phone in certain places, it kicks you out of the car and we're we've already seen a glitch come from that right here. So what you want to do is grab an RH8 or a Fagio and you want to just hop into it. So this might be a little tricky at first, but you will get the hang of it and you'll get better. All right. 
you need to hold down right trigger or the gas, so R2 or RT on Xbox. You want to hold that down and press up on the D-pad at the same time. What that's going to do is bring up your phone. So you want your phone to be brought up and the gas to be held at the same time. If you fail, the phone will come up too early and you'll just end up getting kicked out of the car. Okay, as you can see, this kept happening to me. I was literally pressing right trigger and the up on the D-pad right at the same time and it wasn't working great. So what I actually recommend is starting to press the trigger first and then bringing up the phone. You're gonna see me hit it right here. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead, press up on the D-pad and right trigger at the same time. If done successfully, you'll spawn outside on foot. Okay, you see a flash of the phone actually come up and then you just get spawned outside. So you end up outside on foot. Believe it or not, what just happened is that RH8 actually just merged, okay? It actually just merged with the car you have in your bunker. All right, it actually just gave it a fresh plate and we actually just created a dupe right there. Believe it or not, we just created a dupe. So like I said, have your CEO buzzard out and ready to go and hop into it and fly back over to the bunker. Okay, and you won't notice the change right away, but you will see it, all right? Now remember, I had a roll easy plate on my car in the beginning of the video. That's the same car that I'm using. You're actually gonna see that plate completely change to a brand new fresh generic plate once I get into the bunker. Okay, so I've hit the yellow circle and I'm entering, all right? Checking out my new green duffel bag. Make sure you check out that video, by the way, so everybody can pick up a duffel bag, all the rare ones. Definitely check that video out. So once we're spawning down here in the bunker, finally, our car should still be there. And remember, I had a real easy plate on it. It's actually still there right now. But once I get in, boom, the plate actually changes, right? So as you can see, that's a fresh generic plate. What you wanna go ahead and do is save this in your MOC, which is right here, all right? So just press right D-pad. You can see I have a car in there. Just go ahead and press X or A. It'll just transfer it. Remember, the game still thinks this is that RH8, but now that it's saved in here, now it's a fresh dupe. All right, so whatever car you had in here, just or whatever car I had in here went over to the facility. So I recommend with this dupe glitch, I don't know if it's 100% necessary, but just in case, I recommend you actually drive the car out okay so drive the car out and you want to drive it back in so that's just like make sure that's just to make sure that it's actually forcing the save all right so that you don't lose this brand new dupe of yours now I'm gonna show you how to rinse and repeat right here rinsing and repeating is very simple okay all you got to do is go ahead and hop back into this car since we fully saved it you don't need to put it anywhere you can leave it in the MOC and I'm actually gonna dupe this car so you just keep duping your dupes all right that's the best way to do it. You don't need to keep calling back the original. So no cooldown timers or anything like that. That's what makes this glitch really nice to rinse and repeat. So I'm just gonna grab this retro that I just duped. So this is the duplicate. I'm gonna drive it out. It has a fresh plate on it, but remember we're gonna keep getting more fresh plates. So you don't need custom plates for this. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and drive it back in my bunker and activate a recent, hit start detail online and sit on the alert. I'm gonna fast forward this Xbox guys, different targeting mode, except the first alert, sit on the second. We're sitting on these alerts for 45 seconds, literally 45 seconds. Decline the alert. Once you do that, you'll get a flash of you under the map. Bring up that alert one more time and decline it. PlayStation 4, recent activity, Xbox One. You guys need to join a friend in the different targeting mode, accept the first alert, decline the second, and we will both be frozen at this point, you see the loading symbol in the bottom right. Once that goes away, the screen will trigger and then it will let you press pause. Go to the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack, open it up and then just close out of the menu, okay? Now, the car is glitched just like before. We're gonna go ahead and hop out of the car and exit bunker on foot. Remember, you just wanna leave this car in here, no point to take it out. Just leave it right in there because you're gonna be saving it in the MOC, which is right there anyways, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab that buzzard that will remain out there as long as I don't, you know, bust it up and crash it and explode and all that stuff, it'll be fine, okay? So CEO buzzard is the way to go. So fly back over to your facility like you see me doing right here. And we're just gonna fast forward through this because you've seen this before, but I'm gonna show you that it works with a Fagio as well. So you can do this with an RH8 or a Fagio and probably those Sanchez is also. All right, so right now I am on the Fagio. I'm gonna press up on the D-pad and gas at the same time. Remember, I recommend gas a little bit earlier than up on the D-pad and that's how you'll hit it, you know, the best. Look at that, I hit it second try that time. These were the first attempts. So I spawned outside, the Fagio actually was there for a second and then it despawned. So. Now at this point, you guys know what to do. Go ahead and close out of your phone, run over to the CEO buzzard and fly it back over to the bunker where you have the glitch car parked down inside, okay? So I'm gonna run in there and I'm gonna go grab that car and you will actually see, I'm gonna show you the plate change right before your eyes. So check it out. 
plate says 23 lamb 472. Okay, I'm going to get in the car and immediately go down here and you're going to see the change. Boom, you see that? 27TJM408. That's the new plate. So it gives you a fresh plate. You do not have to worry about dirty dupes whatsoever. Press right D-pad right here and go ahead and transfer. The old car will go to the facility where the Fagio was and the dupe will now be saved in the MOC. And you guys know how to rinse and repeat because I just showed you how to do it. So you would take this car outside and drive it back in the bunker and do the whole recent activity or targeting mode trick. All right, you can get dupes very quickly with this glitch and it is super simple and quick to do if you have the right stuff. So like I said, I recommend Ron's uh, farmhouse or sorry, the windmill uh, as the facility and farmhouse bunker. All right, very close to each other with a CEO buzzard and you guys will get dupes very, very fast with this. So shout out to the founder once again. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out and have a good one.